2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. Joined in the booth with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Hart. What are you saying, man? Eastern Conference battle ready to get rolling, and the Chicago Bulls want some love from their bowl. You gotta lie. Look at the season. With the Bucks in this one. In a season ago, Clark, they won the matchup, winning three and losing just one. And looking back to last season, they won this season. Yes. Because I played the fucking. What? I really get seven foot. What? No, 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 no. <laughs> I I'm trying to, to get something going here. Wait, and it, that's actually cooperating. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. This game not cooperating either. This is 2K Sports. I'm Ernie Johnson. Welcome to the NBA. We're joined by the legends Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jets. Tonight's broadcast will feature the Milwaukee Bucks as they go up against the Bulls in Chicago. The Bulls have been looking pretty confident. This is a team they played pretty well against last season, going three and one. They'll look to oh. keep that edge tonight. Fellas, it seems like so much goes into being successful at the professional level. I want to ask a more general question. What was the key to your success as a player and as a champion? That's life you know, flickering too and team up team everything else. Great! Thanks! I mean, thanks. Wilmot Benjamin, thanks God, I mean, this is what I really need today. You know, nothing fucking want to work. I mean... Chicago, Illinois, home of the Bulls in a fine Eastern Conference battle at the United Center. And here it comes, the NBA on 2K Sports. This... Are you fucking kidding me? We should be being, being up by 15,000 boys. We should be being by 30 points. I mean, one of those days of the night where nothing ever wants to work right. Uh, uh, this is if this if this the you know, it goes out again if I go off again, I, 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 that'll be it because it's getting too late now to try continue this shit. And I I got a trying. You can see I'm trying, but you see my internet issues is, is not helping things. And that I check and deal with my fucking internet. Oh, well, it reset it. We reset it twice now. And it's still not fucking. I reset it. I reset it again. And it's not exactly doing much the same thing. In this game, we'll see the Chicago Bulls against the Milwaukee Bucks. Last game for Milwaukee, they picked up the W against Washington. Playing above 500 in the last few weeks, not bad. They'd like to do better. We'll see if they can add a win tonight. And as we take a few moments here, Shaq, the term basketball IQ is constantly thrown around these days. What exactly is meant by that? Because I don't have it. Ernie, basketball I have no IQ. idea. You know, you can be smarter than me if you want to. You can be a Rhodes Scholar, but you know what I will do to you. <laughs> don't, that doesn't necessarily mean you make good decisions on the basketball court. That's why. Chicago, Illinois, home of 
the Bulls in a fine Eastern Conference battle at the United Center. You're in for a treat as we bring you NBA basketball on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, and here with me today, Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Quick trip here for the Bucks, just one game away before heading back to Milwaukee. They have started the season with just a four consecutive wins. Can we please stop? The, I guess I gotta play this game because this, this is ridiculous. It's not gonna fucking play right. It doesn't want want the fucking team that the the worst the worst were the two teams, which is them. And that, like the fucking early, I'm gonna score six points. Yeah, all right, all right. Fucking in it, fucking robs me of the game. I actually was having. And it won't let me fucking sim to actually have the game I'm supposed to be having. It's just, just fucking insane! You always gonna have people who don't believe that you're really good at what you do. You know, and that's probably more so because they haven't figured out how to be good at what they know don't even know how to do you know so you know that's just what it is you know every level you reach the 2k sports pregame show greetings nba fans welcome to 2k sports i'm your host ernie johnson and seated beside me kenny the jet smith and the diesel shaquille oney our featured matchup tonight in chicago where the bulls will be going up against the milwaukee bucks well for Milwaukee, playing above 500 in the last few weeks, not bad. They'd like to do better. We'll see if they can add a win tonight. And the topic here prior to tip-off, so many teams in the league going up-tempo these days. Kenny, as a player, did you like that style? I'm, I'm assuming you had to love it. Because the one thing about playing up-tempo, Ernie, it brings you back to the roots of the game, why you started playing. If you ever go to a pickup game, you ever go to a park game, no one's stopping play and calling plays. They're going up and down. The big fella Shaq, when he first came into the league, the first thing I saw was him grab the ball, coast to coast in the All-American game. That's what players want to do and people want to see. You know, that was a great example, Kenny, but towards the end of my career and most of my career, I was honestly more of a half-court player. I was pretty fast for my side, but my strength was my biggest edge. In the half-court, barbecue chicken alert. I had to put that work in. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And joining us in a bit later from the sidelines, Doris Burke. The Bulls happy to return to Chicago after the road trip. And the continued absence of Jimmy Butler, the story for them. Well, with him being sidelined, it's going to take some creative work by this coaching staff to keep the ship afloat. I mean, they just can't roll the ball out there and let him play. Not without him. They've got to make some significant adjustments. You know, like it or not, you know, they'll need their reserves to play a, a bigger role. Sometimes, though, that can give them a boost of confidence. It's all about putting them in a position to succeed. Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Does that have a fucking... Stretch Armstrong body. Let me get that ball. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Carter Williams is the point with Middleton at the two. Monroe is out there with John Ensley, and it's Parker in at the small forward position. The salt, and he drops it in from the low post. So that's of a Myrie Brown again. The Bulls get the first points on the scoreboard for Chicago. Carter Williams kicks to Parker. A steal. Here's Rose. And yes! Ha ha ha! In the basket, baby. That's a quick bucket there. Solid in transition. Well, you know, he loves the chance to get out and run, and we could see right there why he does. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One Yeah. So the Bucks, their last game, a win against the Washington Wizards. Yeah, more than anything else, I think three points. <sighs> Sorry.
isn't that great? <laughs> that that do they not really know that they can deal with him when you having this is that this is that were happening. That's really a nice weapon to because it makes things easier for you in other parts of your offense when you can knock down the three. Makes it off the glass. What can I do? I mean, has got five points so far. I like the fact that he led his teammate right to the ideal spot. You don't always throw it to your teammate, you throw it to where he needs to be. Parker drives in. Nice concentration to hit no. the double clutch layup. You know, obviously, he knows how to finish with some flair. Outside Rose. And the pass to Mr. Incredible. He dishes it to Snell. Noah, the pass to Mr. Incredible. His first oh, come on. Is 0 for 1 to strike That's everyone. That's how it ends. Gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. A shot by Carter Williams. Nobody around. Out to the right wing. Here's Parker. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start for two. Last game for the Bulls, they picked up the W against the Pacers in Indiana. And Kevin, you know, they showed how important it is to have a strong bench. I mean, when you are on the you road, you fire. I think they really utilize Come on! in their offensive assault. That's it for my rebound. Stop at the teening. I think what you saw from them throughout the game was teamwork. This is a team. Regardless of who was out there on the floor at any given time, they got it done. What the done. fuck? That has to make you feel good as a group. Now here's Rose. Jabari Park unable to get his last shot to go. <laughs> well, Merry Christmas. I mean, that was a freebie. Bucks trail by five. Middleton on the wing. Passes it to Monroe. Puts it up from 15. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Come on. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Rose passes to Mr. Incredible. It's good this time. Yeah. From Rose. Mr. Incredible's got his first basket of the night. For Milwaukee, they've gone just two of eight shooting so far. Just uh, 25%. Carter Williams kicks to Monroe. Shoots from the elbow, buries the jump shot. Monroe's got his first points of the game. Just such a good shooter from that range. And you factor in his height advantage, it's almost unfair. Back to Rose. Bulls moving the ball around. Smell from outside, and that one's good. Really can't yeah. Allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Carter Williams kicks to Parker. And it's Carter Williams that time on the assist by Parker. Well, I tell you what, the defenders didn't even get a sniff of him on that move to the hoop. Carter Williams again throws. No good from the wing. Almost no chance of that shot. <sighs> Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. It's Parker with the drive. You can never tell me where my assignment is. Now you can tell where it was. D right on him. Six on the shot clock. Back to Monroe. Puts up the baby hook. It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. Chicago with the ball. They lead by four. To the paint. Here's Mr. Incredible. He sinks the 11 footer. Mr. Incredible's got his second basket of the night. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. Hunter Williams dishes the part. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for yeah, bull crap. There's no contact. Shooting their first free throws of the game right now. 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. He hits the second from the line. Should have missed both, or missed the second one at the first the one. Leading by five. Outside Rose. And again, the basket is good from Mr. Incredible. 
Mr. Incredible's got his third basket of the night right there. The Bucks have gone just a shade under 50% from the field. Five of 11. Henson against Noah. Trying his luck deep. The rebound by Mr. Incredible. The Bulls have gone 8 of 12 on field goal attempts so far. Pass to Gasol. Perfect assist. The guy coming from the other side of the court comes in with a layup. Perfect. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. You just cannot allow the offense to have that quality of a look each and every possession. And, and typically he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Three-pointer, Snell, good, and the assist goes to yeah. Six points for him. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Well, everything's coming too easily. I mean, at some point, defensively, defensively you have to take something away. We need to calm down. We're taking too many shots early in the clock. Let's get some ball movement and run something.